Hi, you're watching the Weekly Technology Report by FinancialMirror.tv. Microsoft confirmed its plans to take on the iPod Touch with a new touchscreen Zune that will be able to surf the web, play high-definition movies, and tune in to digital radio. The Zune HD, available in the US this fall, features an HD radio tuner, as well as an organic light-emitting diode, also known as OLED touchscreen. It's based on Windows CE and will use a version of Internet Explorer customized for its touchscreen. No pricing or capacity were announced, though it was said the device will use flash memory and attempt to take on Apple's high-end iPod models. The OLED screen has a 480 by 272 pixel resolution, allowing it to show widescreen video across the entire display when flipped on its side. It will also include an accelerometer, which is pretty much standard at this point. The Zune HD can also play videos on a TV. The player supports files up to 720p resolution, the lower of two resolutions considered high definition, and will downconvert them for playback on the display, but play them at full resolution when hooked up to a TV. You'll need a docking station and a TV with HDMI input to take advantage of this feature, but it should mean a single copy of a video is all that's needed for portable and living room playback. Microsoft plans to offer the new Zune video service in a number of European markets in addition to North America. Microsoft is doubling down on its bet on a radio tuner as a distinguishing feature. The HD radio function allows users to tune into stations in North America broadcasting in the format, which offers higher fidelity than regular FM and on some stations sub-channels with additional programming. Zune HD will also come with a web browser and the Wi-Fi for connecting to the Internet and Microsoft's Zune Store. Wi-Fi has always been a part of the Zune brand, and the Zune HD might be the first Zune that actually encourages its owners to keep that battery-sucking Wi-Fi turned on. Yes, the Zune HD will feature multi-touch browsing using a portable browser based on Internet Explorer. The other big news is a refocus on Zune integration with the Xbox environment, as the Zune's video marketplace will replace the current Xbox Live version. So, basically, through the player, users will be able to access TV and video content that's already offered on the Xbox Live Video Marketplace. It's clearly going to go head-to-head -head with the iPod Touch, featuring multi-touch and a web browser, but will its high-end media features be enough to dethrone the touch? I guess we'll find that out this fall. That's it for now. Tune in next week for another tech update by FinancialMirror.tv.